YouTube. My name is Stacy. I'm known here as Flighty Rambler and I'd like to welcome you to my channel today. Today I am continuing with the ICAD 2022 that is Index Card a Day. This is a 61 day challenge hosted by Yellow Daisy. Uh, she's known as Gypsy999 on Instagram and her name is Tammy Garcia. Tammy has been the host of this challenge for the past 12 years <laughs> and this is the first year I'm participating. I highly suggest that you go over to Instagram or here on YouTube and search for the hashtag ICAD2022 to get a look at all the amazing art being created. And for myself today, it is day 44. <laughs> I am going to start as I have been throughout this series by gluing three index cards together. And then I am going to get a pencil and do some scribble journaling and mark making on my background. Once I have finished getting my thoughts out, I'm going to use a napkin to create some more texture on my background. I'll use matte gel medium to get it down. And yeah, this napkin is also going to be available in my Etsy shop. That's right, I've opened an Etsy shop. It has a host of beautiful napkins right now. There's a link to the shop in the description box below. I encourage you to go check that out as well. Once the napkin is nice and dry, I am going to reach for some acrylic inks. The first color will be fluorescent red, and this is a technique I have been using a lot lately. Basically, I'll add some ink to the background, I'll move it around with a paintbrush as well as some water, and dry it off with the heat tool as I move the ink around. And I end up with a nice random result. There's real no control with this. And I find that that's part of the fun. And the second color I'm going to add to this card is fluorescent pink. And wow, I love the mingling of these two colors. They look great on the card, especially with the pops of that beautiful napkin and my journaling in the background.
I kind of struggled for the next few steps. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. So I reached for some acrylic paint in white. I added it to one side, watered it down, moved it around, dotted it around, and dried it off with my heat tool. And then because I wasn't sure where to go, I decided that both the red and the pink would react well with yellow. So I got out the fluorescent yellow acrylic ink and did the same thing, dotted it around, smeared it around with a paintbrush and dried it off with the heat tool. And then you've got it right, it's time for splats, 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 splats. And I'm kind of happy with what I see, but I really don't see the end result yet. So I go ahead and add more uh, white acrylic paint along the other edge. And I'm still not sure what to do, so I decide to go with a highly contrasting color and reach for the turquoise acrylic ink and do the same thing. And I, I just don't know about this card right now. It's in the ugly stage and I have to be able to push through it.
after all the inks are dry, I'm going to use a catalyst tool as well as some gesso and add some more white to it. And perhaps when I had added the gesso, I should have used a stencil to give it more of a deliberateness instead of this randomness that I can't seem to see the end result of. So I'll move the orientation around trying to find a uh, end result. I'll try to find something that looks good. I'll add some threads. I'll go ahead and add some flosses and even a sentiment. The sentiment today I am going to use my Dymo once again. This Dymo is the absolute best investment I have had in a quite a long time. I'm using it consistently and um, if you're looking for something to add words or phrases uh, instead of looking through sticker books, this is, this is really cool. And the word for today is tufts and yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's tufts. And I'm not happy with it. I look at it for a while. I leave it on my desk for a while. I take pictures of it and come back to it. And finally, I decide it needs a bigger, bolder focal point. So I'm going to use my gesso and I'm going to paint out a botanical. And 
once that's dry, I'm going in with sizzling pink and I'm going to add a color, a bright pop of color to the card. And I'm much more happy. I am much more happy with this. So much more happy. I'll go ahead and add two coats of the pink to really make it pop and make sure I get it nice and dry before I go in with my Micron pens. I'll use two of them. The first I'll use is the 05. I'll go ahead and make my sketchy lines around everything. And then I'll go in with the 10. It's a bolder nib and I'll get broader strokes and I'll go ahead and repeat it doing the outlines and the stem and really pull the card together with this beautiful bright pink flower. And I'm much, much, much more happy with the card now that it has this focal point. The background can be as busy as it likes. There's something else to draw your eye. I am much more happy with this end result and I hope that you stayed with me through the ugly phase to the end. And that looks like that's my project for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. I encourage you to give me that thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I have another project up my sleeve for tomorrow. And until my next video, bye bye. <laughs>